I'm now going to talk you through some of Twitter's main settings, which doesn't sound particularly interesting, but this is where you would change your background picture, upload a picture of yourself, uh, change any security options. So the way you get to settings is this new drop down menu here on the right hand side and click on settings and it will take you to this page here and you've got lots of different options account password mobile notifications I'm going to start with the account tab this is where you can change your username at any point on Twitter you can change your username if you want and you won't lose any of your followers uh, but bear in mind if somebody's already taken the name that you want you can't have that uh, email address you can change that at any point you can also let people find you via your email address if you want you can add a location to your tweets at the moment, this means that on my desktop computer, people know that I'm sitting here in London. But if I went out and about with my mobile phone, I would have to actively turn on location on my mobile phone. So I don't have location added to that. If I scroll down a little bit further, uh, tweet media, this is about sensitive content. So this is if you, for example, are working with younger people. Tweet uh, privacy. I wouldn't tick this box. If you really want to protect what you're saying on Twitter, I'd say you're probably better off on Facebook. Um, this might be something that you might want to do for the first couple of weeks if you're a bit nervous about using Twitter and you're trying to get your head around it. But it means if you have your tweets protected, nobody else can retweet you. If somebody new wants to try and follow you, you've got to give them permission. It's just it's a slightly odd thing, and very few people on Twitter actually protect their tweets. I would tick this box, always use HTTPS. It just makes things more secure if possible. The other things I'd bear in mind are obviously password, you can change that. Um, mobile, this is useful if you ever think you're going to be out and about in the field and you want to connect uh, Twitter via your text messaging service or if you want to be notified when somebody sends you a direct message uh, or, so, you know, or favorites your tweet or something. So it just gives you lots of options there. Um, and uh, it, it just is it's worth connecting it if you're going to be in a part of the world that's not always going to have 3G so that you can text your updates. Notifications, this allows you to again be sent emails when somebody for example sends you a direct message or if you're followed by someone new. The profile tab, this is where you upload your pictures. Bear in mind it's very small, 700k isn't very much so that's normally just a pho phone picture or if you've cropped the size of a normal camera picture. Um, this is where you might add your website, you might change your bio, uh, and you connect can connect Twitter to Facebook if you want to here, although I'd always be wary because they're two very different social networks. And finally, where it says design, this is where you can choose default pictures that Twitter have created for you, or you can change background image. I've simply put a picture of a big tree as my background, you could put anything. Sometimes you see beautiful sunsets, you can do all sorts of things. Um, or you can change your design colours. So this is where you say, oh, I want my sidebar to be light green. There's all sorts of things that you can do to make your Twitter experience more personal. So all of those things you can do in the settings part. And finally, applications. Always be a little bit wary. I've connected to a number of different applications, so I can use Twitter on my mobile phone and different um, websites but even as I scroll down now I think oh goodness I should have another check at some of these because you know if, if people are taking your passwords or spamming it, it comes from some of these things so always be happy with the things that you've given access to via your Twitter password.